Hi and welcome to another episode of The Vox Couch and today I'm going to be running a candid interview with one of our teachers, Danielle, one of our most senior teachers, Danielle, and also our administration manager. Yes. How are you doing today, Danielle? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. You're a very important part of Vox Senior Academy because you do the administration work and teaching as well too, so you absolutely know everything about Vox Senior yeah. Academy, the, the, the ins and outs, so. and you do a fantastic job as well too, so I want to say thank you very much for that. Let's just take it back a little bit, very similar to Ryan as well too, actually probably a little bit different to Ryan. I know that Ryan came to singing lessons when he was about 15 or 16, I remember his mum uh, bringing him into singing lessons. Ryan is one of my, well, my most senior teacher besides myself. Ryan's now in his late 30s, I hope he doesn't mind us saying that. Um, but I've known Ryan for a long time, but I've probably known, known you for a, a longer period of time, Danielle, because you came to singing lessons with myself when you were very young. I, you were about this big. So how old was yeah. that? Quite to four, five, six? I was about four, five. I think it was five. Because oh, you didn't want to take me because I was so young. Well, there we go. Lucky I did. Yeah, until um, I made you. <laughs> <laughs> until you made me or your mum and dad made me. No. Fantastic. <laughs> so, not giving away your age, I've known you for a very, very long time. So, just tell me a little bit about what's been happening uh, and what's in the pipe works artistically for yourself coming up now. Well, um, looking at maybe doing some acoustic duo, trio type of stuff, yeah. um, gigging, doing some weddings, that type of stuff. Very good. Um, but yeah, otherwise still teaching. That's what I enjoy the most, really. Fantastic. We all do. That's why we do it. Just tell us a little bit about just a, a brief history about yourself, spanning back from when you were four or five, and what you've done. Because I know that you've done some recording with some mm -hmm. some quite big people and some different things like that. Just give us a little bit of a run through of, of, of that. Yes, I started when I was about four, singing with you. Um, same for I started. Oh, that makes me feel old. I remember it at the uh, it was at the Noble Park studio. Yeah. Okay. yeah sorry, to, sorry about him then. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just I did a lot of competitions, I suppose, when I was growing up. Yeah. Singing a lot of other places. I think the main place I remember when I was so young was singing at the Crown Palladium. I did yep. a competition there. Wow. Um, then I recorded my own music, recorded my own single. And I worked with a producer at one stage. Um, yeah, and done a lot of gigging really. I gigged a lot. Fantastic. And we can edit this out if this is incorrect, but did you record with Ralph Carr or were you involved with Ralph Carr? No, Carr's? James Olave. Okay. Yeah. Um, Danielle, let's just get into some more light hearted questions here, okay? If you won twenty million dollars, what would you do and would this change your life? Um, what do I do? You smell very nice, Danielle. What is that perfume that you have on? Black opium. Black opium, there we go. We need one of those little <laughs> little um, advertising bars at the bottom there. Hopefully black, black opium will give us some free black opium. Like $20 million. What would you do? And would this change your life? I'd probably, no offence, but <laughs> probably Leave. wouldn't be working. Or I'll be like, hey Peter. <laughs> Hopefully you don't need 20 million dollars. <laughs> um, but I travel, I go, I travel. That's great, yeah, traveling is fantastic. So you take the whole family traveling? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. If you had one year to live, what would you do? Sorry, again. But I'm not going to. It's a very work. sobering, humbling question, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't spend as much time with my family, really. That's probably yeah. something what I would be doing. If you had one week to live, what would you do? Same thing. Same thing? I'd be with my kids. Family time. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Very good. Okay, something a little bit more light-hearted here. Your favourite singer of all time. Ooh. I am, and I think all my students know this, a massive Ed Sheeran fan. Like huge, like I, I'd do anything for him. Wow. Yeah. He he is fantastic. He's a he's an amazing songwriter. Yeah. 
hasn't got a, an exceptionally big range, but writes great melodies and absolutely great songs. Yeah, and if his songs, they kind of like hit you in a way. I don't know, they always mean something. He, he is fantastic. He, and if he keeps on writing the way that he's writing, I think he's going to go down in history as one of the, the great songwriters of all time. Yeah. If, he, if he keeps this up, he's an absolutely fantastic songwriter. Your favourite album, if you had one album that you would take away on a deserted island? X. I listen to him constantly. X? Yeah, probably X. Yeah. Great album. Mm -hmm. It's a very good album. Your favourite song that you enjoy singing? I pretty much think I know what this is. What do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be Black Velvet. Oh, really? Yeah. You think that? Yes. Yeah, Black Velvet and Hallelujah, that'd be my two favourites. Fantastic. Hallelujah, what a great song. Mm. I was leaning towards Black Velvet. Yeah. Okay. Um, on this subject here as well too, um, there are numerous versions of, of Alleluia, yeah. Leonard Cohen being the songwriter of it, but we know that a lot of people have done that song. What is your favourite, who is your, who's your, what's your favourite version of, of Alleluia? I love Jeff Buckley's, but I tend to, I sing Katie Lane's version. They both sound very with a lot of emotion, yeah. both of them. I think more so Jeff Buckley's. I'm leaning towards Jeff Buckley. The most memorable show or performance that you have witnessed live show, going and seeing someone? Probably Ed Sheeran's concert. Wow. Because I would used to always be pink, because I, I love her too. But his last concert, just him and guitar, and that was it, and it was incredible. Incredible. Yeah, he he was fantastic. Just him, loop pedal, guitar, yeah, talent. That's that's yeah. really what it was. That that concert. That's fantastic. No auto tune. Not hiding behind anything. No. Um, was was very 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 good. Okay. Back to some teaching here. Your favourite aspect about teaching for Vox, besides working for me. <laughs> <coughs> She chokes and, jokes and dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably when I see a student get excited as such of they, um, you can tell that they they can they know that they're improving okay. and they can feel and see the difference. So they're excited about their yeah. improvement. Yeah. Fantastic. Very good. The, this might be. Double edged sort of question here. The most rewarding aspect about teaching singing is it the same thing for you to seeing the development of. And I think students. seeing the students perform. I yeah. like that. I like seeing them perform. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Especially that, what, um, what was that girl's name that played that acoustically that played her first show? Jade. Jade. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic to see her up and going. You know, her original songs are very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Your strongest point as a singing teacher. What do you think? I haven't had singing lessons with you. So I don't you know. No, but you would you know how I teach. I know your strongest point as a singer because I've taught you since you were yay high. But your strongest point as a singing teacher, this is oh, probably probably because I'm really bubbly. And I think everyone feels comfortable. A lot of students feel comfortable with me, so it gets them out of their shell a lot more and makes them kind of go for it. Do you get what I mean? Yep. Because if you do get the student come in and they're really, um, like they're really kind of reserved and they don't want to sing in front of you and they yep. don't want to, but if you more bubbly, you talk to them and stuff, and then I find they come out of their shell. And, you have got a very yeah. uh, real uh, relaxed personality, mm -hmm. so I feel very at ease when I'm with you all the time. Yeah. Um, I think one of the other aspects that you're very, very good at is, is diagnosing certain uh, parts within their voice or the song and addressing those yeah. and making those parts better as, yeah. as well. So that's from, from my point of view, from sitting into your classes and observing uh, your lessons. Okay, your favourite food or meal? Don't say Mexican nachos because that's what the last couple of interviews have said. You can if you want. You can uh, if you want. It would probably be. Um, I tell you. 
Yeah, it would be Italian food. No, but I love curry. But it has to be homemade curry. It's my god, my, my caramel. Her curry. My caramel. <laughs> no, no, my god, my caramel. What sort of curry does she make? Is it Indian? Yeah. No, I think she does more Malaysian oh, wow. curry. Yeah. Wow. Really good. Wow. Yeah. I was over in Malaysia and they, they do have good curries. It would be very interesting to yeah. taste Carmel's curry. <laughs> Fantastic. Your favourite drink? Oh, you know what it really is? It's like the best drink ever. <laughs> is this like a homemade concoction? Yeah. No, it's tequila sunrise. Wow, simply just a tequila sunrise. It is so good. It's Fantastic. the only drink, because I don't drink, I don't really drink. Yeah. I like a glass of wine here and there or something. Yeah. But if we go out, Dean, he's always like, do you want to go to tequila sunrise? And I was like, yep. Yeah. And he's like, it's cool. Fantastic, fantastic. Very good. Your favourite colour, Danielle? Black? No. No! Purple. purple. Your favourite item, your favourite personal item, memorabilia, memorabilia, jewellery, car, clothing, health, what's your favourite favorite item? Wedding personal wedding item. Ring. Wedding ring. My engagement ring. Yeah. Fantastic. Wedding and engagement ring. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. An appliance or a gadget that you just can't live without? Oh, clearly my phone. My phone's my life. Line. I thought you would have. I thought you would might have said your. Okay, anything your, Apple product. Like Apple, there we go. Back. Apple, <laughs> keep it coming, Apple. <laughs> keep some free things coming our way. We do use Apple products a lot in all of our studios. Your star sign, Danielle. What's your star sign? Cancer. Cancer. Water, water sign. I was just going to ask you about that. I don't know much about cancer. So we're just going to not like that. Are they? Yeah. We're just going to move on from that. But a water sign. That's very, very good. And I think that also sums up your personality. Is, is you are very water. Mm. You go with the flow, and you just yeah. just move around. And, and I've noticed that your whole life, you are just like that as well too. So very, very mm. um, intriguing. That very true. 